He was a promising Austin musician whose life ended much too soon. Now Draylen Mason's legacy will live on. Draylen was a victim of the Austin bomber, and this week marks one, the one-year anniversary of his death. A local nonprofit announced today it started a musical scholarship program in Draylen's honor. KBU's Kaylin Norwood introduces us to the first Draylen Mason Fellows. Oquita, in honor of Draylen's love for music, the Hispanic Alliance selected four talented musicians out of dozens of Austin area students to become fellows. LA students now have the opportunity to pursue their dreams and make a difference in the world of music. If you get rid of music education, I, we have nothing. Just as passionate about causes as he was playing music. As a double bass player, 17-year-old Draylen Mason made his mark in the Austin community. Far and away the most sort of known member of Austin Soundwaves. I mean, people just knew who he was just by the way he played. Mason played string bass for the Austin Soundwaves through the Hispanic Alliance. He and Patrick Slevin first met when Mason joined music camp nearly seven years ago. Now the week of his passing. There's no way to put in the words like, I mean, the loss for the world, this community, and for our program, I mean. The group is remembering him by starting something new. Sarah Chu, a violinist and freshman at McNeil High School, is one of the first Draylen Mason Fellows. And I remember um, how funny he was, and he just, he just had this, like, good energy with him. She knew him through the Austin Youth Orchestra. Now she and three high school musicians are taking their studies to new heights by talking about social issues and transforming them into meaningful songs. I feel like this program was not only to like carry out um, Draylen's wishes, but it was also so that we could make an impact in the community no matter like what area that was in. Using music to impact the world in Draylen's honor. This is a one-year program. Each student gets a $1,000 scholarship to help them further pursue music. Reporting live in studio, Kayla Norwood, KVU News.